My name is Roland Tilz. I'm professor of cardiac electrophysiology at the University Heart Center in Lübeck, Germany. We all share the enthusiasm about pulsed field ablation. It's a very powerful and safe energy. However, recent trials demonstrated that first generation PFA tools are only as good, but not better than thermal ablation. And they're only as safe, but not safer as thermal ablation technologies. So the balloon design is aiming to combine the best of three worlds. So the balloon, which has the advantage that you can push the catheter and get very good wall contact, that you can uh, deliver the energy into the tissue and not into the blood pool. Second, it has the, a PFA as a very powerful and safe energy. And third, it is fully integrated into a 3D mapping system. It is a free market single arm study. 150 patients were enrolled at 11 sites in the world. 70% of patients had paroxysmal AF and 30% persistent AF. The mean age was 62 years old and more than 70% of patients were pretreated with class one or three antiarrhythmic drugs. Two thirds were male. The safety endpoint were major adverse events within seven days after the procedure. The efficacy endpoint were arrhythmia recurrence within six months post ablation. The key finding of the study were that the volt balloon was safe and effective to isolate the pulmonary veins. More than 99% of all veins could be isolated in a single vein a single vein, or in a single patient, a single vein could not be isolated. Major adverse events occurred in 2.7%. There was a single cardiac tamponade, two vascular access complications, and one patient had a pneumonia. So the safety profile of the device was very good. So the take home message of the Volt study is that the balloon is back. It is a safe and effective way to isolate the veins with uh, pulse field ablation. The uh, safety profile was excellent and the efficacy was very good as well. Now we need further studies to confirm that the balloon design is more effective and safer as compared to thermal ablation.